Arizona is moving. And this, this came out from behind the curtain. They have struggled since the early 2000s, dating all the way back to when Wayne Gretzky was part owner of the Arizona Coyotes and his co-owner went into bankruptcy. They have struggled with ownership, money, quality of team on the, on the ice and arena situations. They had hoped that they were going to be able to make a bid on a 110 uh, acre parcel of land on Scottsdale, right on the 101 freeway. And then the mayor of Scottsdale says, we don't want you here. And that, ev that ev eventually, within 24 hours, led to the demise of the franchise. Uh, the owners in Salt Lake City, the guy that owns the Utah Jazz, Ryan Smith, very successful entrepreneur, uh, has been meeting behind the curtain with the NHL and worked out a deal with Gary Bettman. Bettman, at this point, has given up on the Phoenix market because they just can't get an arena built and they need an arena. And the union's been raising holy hell about the conditions the players have to live and exist in playing in a small college arena. And the product hasn't been very good either. So what they've indicated is the NHL is buying the Coyotes from Alex Marullo, the owner, for a billion. They will sell it to Ryan Smith in Salt Lake City for $1.3 billion. As part of the deal, there will be renovations to the Delta Center to make it more hockey-friendly. They have given Marullo the $1 billion for the sale. He will have a five-year window to build an arena, and they have guaranteed him if they get it done – he will get an expansion franchise. And you would ask, why would Gary Bettman do this? Well, it's a marketplace of 3.5 million. Mm -hmm. Huge. It's a marketplace in which a lot of transplants, many from Western Canada. What do they bring with them? Everything they own and their interest in hockey. Yeah. So that's the reason they're not vacating the market. I feel terrible. I have friends in Quebec City. Quebec used to have the Nordique, which was a great franchise. They had economic issues. The arena was too small. They have a new arena. Quebec City doesn't get any love from the NHL, and I don't understand it because it's Canada, and in Canada, it's all things hockey. And they would sell out every bloody game, and the rivalry with the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs would be reestablished. Why the NHL refuses to look at the Quebec City market just absolutely drives me crazy. But that's where we are. Coyotes will be in Salt Lake City. It'll be good for the players. They will be welcomed. You know, it is a unique market. They do have the Utah Jazz. They do have the Utah Utes going into the Big 12, but they, they think it'll be a pretty good hockey regional franchise, but I feel really badly for the people of Quebec City. John, your turn. Take a slap shot. It's a slap shot. Well, first of all, I think this is a good, it's a good move because they had to get out of Phoenix with that stadium or the arena and the mess. Salt Lake's a nice place to be. I mean, that metropolitan area isn't as big as Phoenix, but it's not too far behind it. San Diego would have been a nice place to be if we had an arena. Well, that's coming, you know, and apparently Kroenke is saying he wants to bring the NHL to San Diego. But how many people live in Quebec City? I mean, is it a half a million, maybe? Yeah, but it's a big, it's a region. It's a huge population region, whether you think it's French separatist, which I think it is, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. They are hockey fans. I mean, the biggest religion in the province of Quebec is Catholicism. <laughs> yes. Right behind hockey. Right. Yeah, exactly. I hear you there. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm sure the NHL thinks of Salt Lake as a more profitable market for the league overall than in Quebec City. That has to be part of this, right? I don't know. The O Canada group that's joined us, if you want to jump in on Fans Forum, do you think Quebec City deserves a franchise? Because we got NHL teams in every other major city. I happen to think Quebec City is a major city. John, last time.